Over two-thirds of America is already at crash risk. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's Red Hot Topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought and hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, we have a massive issue circulating right now with the US economy. We have a massive issue circulating right now with the US housing market. Are you seeing this one? It's spinning out of control. This is insane what we continue to have to talk about. If you're new, please subscribe, subscribe right away. There has never been a more important time in history to get in front of this forward thinking, critical thinking as we cut through the chatter and just acknowledge the elephant in the room. We overheated the housing market in any time you overheat the US housing market, they have always crashed and everything hinges on the US housing market. If we lose the US housing market, we lose everything. Listen, friends, we're headed for a recession. We're already in one, really. I mean, a lot of people are just relying on the government to tell them what to think. And if you're waiting for the government to tell you that you're an officially in a recession, that's coming soon, my friends. By the end of the year, I predict the government is going to come announce that we're in an official recession. Most of us saw this long time ago. I saw this the second the housing market went wild, went crazy, unorganic growth, no organic growth, all artificial growth through market manipulation. I was like, this is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. My gosh. So today we're going to take a look at a heat map of the country. <laughs> Over two thirds of the country are already, already right now in crash risk. And guess what happens when two thirds of the country gets in crash risk? The other third is on borrowed time. This is what happens when you get the housing market into a bubble. And I'm not gonna go over all the things that we can be going over with the spike in listings stuck on the market, price reductions, mortgage applications down, everything you need. If you need any more proof that the market has hit the top of the bubble, I don't know what else to tell you, my friends. This thing, like I always say, you can't time the bottom of a real estate crash, but you can always time the top of a real estate bubble. When you see skyrocketing overnight appreciation, that's a bubble. When you see it top off, level off, and start trending in the other direction, you, my friends, have just identified the top. Like I've always said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. We overheated the biggest asset class in the world world the u.s housing market so i really don't want to minimize this and try to act like everything's all rainbows and sunshine we have clear and present dangers the first step of getting past a problem is admit there's a problem acceptance is the only thing you're going to be able to do to get past this only a prepared mind is going to see opportunity there's going to be a lot of opportunity but herd mentality will rear its ugly head once again, it'll go from buyer herd mentality to seller herd mentality. We're seeing that right now. It's going to go from the fear of missing out to panic and fear. And it's going to sweep a bunch of us in with it where we're going to be afraid to spend money. Why? Because nobody else is. So today we're going to run a little article to drive our point home. And then we'll meet right back here and wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's dive into this article. Keep an eye on these overvalued housing markets as the housing boom implodes. We have at least one element of a housing bubble, overvaluation, and that's a huge element, my friends. When every single market in America, or at least two thirds, are experiencing overvaluation, we are in big, big trouble. Let's continue on. Fundamental economics tell us that home price growth and income growth are interwoven. Neither can outrun the other for very long. That is what's concerning about the pandemic's housing boom. Over the past year, home price growth over 20% is four times higher than income growth at under 5%. That disconnect has more economists flirting with the most hated two words in real estate, housing bubble. 
And you see, friends, this is where, in fact, lies the issue. The basic fundamentals for a healthy housing market have completely been disconnected. And then when you get economists now all over the country, now even uttering the words housing bubble, that, in fact, is game over. Let's continue on. The real estate firm calculated a market risk assessment for around 400 metropolitan statistical areas. CoreLogic aimed to find out whether local income levels could support the home prices. The finding, CoreLogic now deems that 67.9% of U.S. regional housing markets are overvalued. That is a staggering number, you guys. That is over two-thirds of the country. The remaining third is at incredible risk. And here you go, friends. Here's the current heat map of all the overvalued areas in America, over two-thirds. And let me just tell you, we're just getting started. Let's go ahead and meet back at the office and wrap this one up. So there you go, friend. There's a little crash map for us. As we can see, everything got way too euphoric, way too overheated. So now it's time to buckle up and strap in. I believe, the personally, the, like I've always said, the first step of getting past the problem, admit there's a problem. I think we have a clear problem. It's, is If you can admit that, you're going to be less paralyzed by it when it happens, because at least you've had ad admitted it, acknowledged it, like, hey, this is a housing bubble, and typically housing bubbles do what? That's right, they pop. So it, the, if we can at least admit that, then we, you know, we have a fighting chance moving forward. Then insulate yourself, like I've always said since the beginning of the channel, save your cash for the crash, save it for a rainy day, save it for whatever you need to save it for. But right now, is, there's probably never been a more important time to just insulate ourselves. Like I said, no one's going to escape this next recession. Like I said, some markets will behave differently, some will crash harder. I believe everybody gets touched in this one because of the magnitude, the size of the bubble. I believe it's going to drag down even sound areas that maybe didn't go through massive appreciation. We all know the ones that got too red hot are the ones that are at heaviest crash risk, at least at crashing first. But I believe it's going to drag these other areas along with it. So like I said, when you have two thirds of the country got way too, you're overvalued. They're just overvalued. They're headed for a correction. Even the other ones that aren't, the other third of the country is going to have to pay the piper too. Like I've said, you can be, you can be recession insulated, but you're not going to be recession proof. You have to be able to weather a storm. Then once you can re make, sure you're, our, make sure our needs are met, reevaluate the markets. Like I've always said, I'd always, for me personally, been way more concerned about owning other people's houses than my own. It's not as important to own where you live. It's just important to own. I really hope we can all get out there and maybe scoop up some investment properties. Sacrifice. Don't base our insides on other people's outsides. Trying to create this illusion of wealth, being a debt slave, carrying debt service, where you're just dra dragging a, now a depreciated asset along for the ride. We saw millions and millions of people drink the real estate Kool-Aid in this bubble, and unfortunately, they're going to learn a very expensive lesson. I learned this one in the last one. That's why I'm here with you today, doing my best to ring the bell and sound the alarm and protect as many people as possible. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, there's an email in the description for you as well. I have a network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. If you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video and other videos in your screen at this time, I think you'd love, along with an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. Also, Take a look at the great companies that sponsor this channel, all in the description below. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.